more solid unit for those types of games. Okay, so maybe think about going Roach. But but here's my problem with going Roach, and this is this is, you know, it's not going to be specific to me because you know people at my level and below my level don't have perfect macro either. But you know, Roaches are very larva inefficient. You know, you only you only get one Roach per larva, and mm -hmm. if I'm not, if I'm missing injects, and I was missing quite a few. Um, then I'm probably not. I mean, do you think I'll be able to get enough out? Um, if you're not missing overlords and you're not missing injects, then yes. If you're missing overlords and you're missing injects, then no. I mean, that's very simple. Uh, you know, probably that last game. I'm not sure if if you were missing injects, and that's also an obvious problem. You might want you need to work on. So uh, that just falls under like I guess general macro macro mechanics that you know you're better off with perfect macro than you are without so yeah it's pretty right. well, let's things. have you guys play a game and okay can i get a oh a yeah drink real yeah, quick? yeah of course sorry i didn't mean okay. to keep you so long i'll uh brb So, ZVT is annoying and hard. I, I agree. And I acknowledge the difficulty there. So we've got about uh, about 45 minutes left. Uh, so we're probably going to start taking questions. I think we'll probably play two more games, then do our Q&A. Uh, If you, if you have questions for Rhett, be sure that you email them to the email address given by our mods. And there's the man. I'm back. Hey, one more thing I would like to say about that last game is um, on Zelnaga, on those positions, if you see that Terran is like hardcore going to push your third and they killed your creep around the rocks mm -hmm. and they're just slow, slowly moving forward with tanks, uh, one thing you can do is you can take a fourth base on the left side like you were doing. If you get that in time, you can just say, okay, fuck it, you know, he killed my creep, he's being a total bitch. Um, you, you can just sack your, your, your third base in the bottom right corner, mm -hmm. pull all your drones, uh, and send it to your, your new third on the left side that's just completed. And you can just kind of ignore this push and just counter his main. Um, that's a, a technique you can use on this map that's, that's really effective when, when Terran's uh, slow push you like that. Cool. All right. Something to think about. So you ready to stomp this guy for us? Uh, I hope so. I'll try my best. <laughs> this time we're not playing on steps, so you should be fine. Alright, here we go. I have no excuses if I lose this time. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> At least steps give me something to bitch about. <laughs> Alright, 
And I've got a, uh, I've actually got a second Terran player that can jump in and play one more with us after this one, who's a little bit more highly rated than this guy. So, who's that? Uh, the, the next guy is uh, Specialist. He played with some of the info oh, yeah. guys this morning and won a couple games, which was impressive. In my division, he's actually higher than me. So. Oh yeah. It's a little scary. So he's clearly better. Clearly, <laughs> better at everything. <laughs> So normal things are uh, are coming. Uh, you said 15 hatch, 15 pool, right? Yeah, I won't do anything fancy. Nothing fancy. Uh, so I, I, I really do anything fancy. <laughs> well, I always like to ask you, uh, you know, what are what are some things that we can do to keep a Terran player honest? You know, we we talked a little bit about roachling all ends when we did ZVP, and we talked a little bit about early pool builds when we did ZVZ. So what are some uh, ZVT builds? Some tricky things that we can do, like in a best of three maybe, uh, that can punish a Terran who tries to take advantage of knowing that we're that we prefer to play macro style. Uh, well, there's the link bailing bust, but uh, Zerg's like Kyrex. I've been doing it so much that it's become kind of expected. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure if that would work too well at this stage. Um, I guess Roach Ling is still kind of dangerous uh, to Terran. If they're going for a fast expansion build, so Roachling all in still work okay. Um, other than that, I don't really. There's not too many good cheeses you can do on Terran that are like a high success rate. Mm -hmm. That's sort of twisted. Because there's so many good cheeses that a Terran can do on Zerg. Yeah. I wish Zerg had more uh, powerful early game tools, but. Sadly, that's not the case. So what uh, what queued you on the uh, bunker there? Well, just his, his SCV was gone, so I figured something was going on. So it wasn't in, it wasn't in fact map hacks. No, it wasn't. Hmm. This sucks a bit. I should have never sent my overlord there. I normally just keep it near my natural, but I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, I do the same. So, no spine crawler? Is there a reason? Just saw one Rax. I'm going double queen, so my queen's gonna be done. I feel like I don't really need any more defense for now. And this is a pretty early Roach one. It's just map related because I feel like uh, Hellions are really good here. So I like to go early Roach. It's harder to afford a, a third queen now. Because of the roach? Yeah. So I guess instead you're using a lot of that early energy for extra creep tumors. Yeah. So reactor, maybe he's going to put a factory on that. So I see the second command center, so there's nothing I have to worry about. Just early Hellions, I guess. Which my Roaches should be able to deal with.
Man, you're using a lot of uh, a lot of creep tumors. That is awesome. Third queen is out though. Yeah, so I guess there's going to be a ton of Hellions. Yeah, so you've seen the reactor factor now, so I can comment on your map hacks game sense. How the fuck do you guess these things? You're, you're always right, it seems. I think it just comes with experience. I'm going to call hacks. <laughs> Please don't tell on me. <laughs> so, you're investing a bit in early roaches. Uh, are you going to get any roach upgrades when your lair finishes? No, I'm going to switch to... Uh, well, i got to see what he's doing. Like, if it's not mech, I'm going to switch to uh, just regular... It might be mech, though, because of that blue flag. Yeah, two factories. Yeah, then I'll get um, roach, roach speed and armor. Uh, are you going to get overlord speed or an overseer or anything like that to check, or are you just going to continue playing it by uh, by what you feel? Um, I'll get overlord speed. Just because I want to see any transitions coming in time. Like playing against uh, Marine plus two fact is a lot different than playing against uh, like four or five fact pure mech. So mm -hmm. you need to be able to see what's what's happening. So you got a nice creep spread going on here. What do you do when uh, when Terran pushes and kills off those tumors? Do you replace them or do you just say, all right, we're done spreading creep? I cry on the inside first and then <laughs> I replace it. Because <laughs> against Terran you always you always need it. So down goes the spire. And the baneling nest. And that's because why? Oh, I saw a second rack, so I'm going to assume there's going to be a lot of marines. Yeah, now the yeah. overlord sees everything. So yeah, it's going to be a lot of marines, um, tanks. Do you have any, uh, any tricks for remembering to spread creep that you can show no, us? No, it just goes automatically. It's just something I've built in my, my brain. Yeah. You're playing quite It's fast. one of those rare, rare cases where I get the failings preemptively just because I don't plan on going meet us too quickly here. I want to stop the first push first and then I'll get meet us. Unless he waits forever. That's a lot of stuff. can have that base. 